FRC 44s. This is the offshore boat in VRI. Got a minute before the start. The pin end is a little up on the screen and the wind's a bit to the left. So the pin should be favored enough to make it worth our while to start down there. The fleet in general has been starting up by the boat because it's so powerful to have starboard advantage in these boats, but I think currently the pin is favored enough that if you start down there clean with speed, you might be able to tack and cross the majority of the fleet. We'll find out because that's what we're going to do. I have one guy, two guys coming to fight for the pin. This guy's timing is real good. There's a start. Not going to cross. I'm also going to foul if I'm not careful. Ooh. That was close. Actually, you know, I think my wind's going to go back left just a little bit looking at the flags up top. So we're going to take a little bit of a risk, go out here. I think uh, wind speed staying about the same. If we can cross this green guy, we'll be okay. He's tacking anyway. That was going to be close. So that was a bit of a risk. The wind wasn't so far left that I could immediately cross the people starting up on the line. So I feel fortunate that we got out of there without a penalty. In the game, often if you can't quite cross, but you have a strong lee bow on somebody above you, you can do two tacks and push them back and it opens up a spot for you to later get on the port, which is what we did. We started, we tacked, we lee bowed the yellow boat coming back onto starboard. That pushed him away and then it opened up a bigger lane for us and it helps that the wind went a little bit left, which opened up a little bit more. If the wind had gone right, that might have been a whole different story. So hit the spinnaker button, quickly watch the wind. The wind's increasing, I believe, so we'll extend on starboard here out of this mark rather than jibe set, which a lot of boats had been doing. He's going to jibe set. The problem with the jibe set currently is a lot of people are doing it. There's a lot of bad air over here from the people going um, upwind still on the offset. So I think we get clear air longer. Wind speed's still increasing. We'll just jive on ley line. We'll see how uh, boats behind are letting me go, involved in their own little battle. We come back with yellow. We'll see how we did. Uh, first impressions are we gained a lot. You had to sail out there in a bit of bad air. He's a nice puff header now, probably gaining back. Take the spinnaker down here. We'll jibe. The spinnaker will come down right about the right time. The, uh, the offshore boat here in the VRA acts a little more like a real boat when you take this, put the spinnaker up and down. Acceleration rates, deceleration rates all seem a little more accurate. You can see the wind speed's going up. Looking at the flags up top, it looks like a little lefty is going to come back through the middle. So I'm pretty confident that being out here on the left will, uh, will be a very nice net gain. I think at the lured mark, I was around 60 or 70 meters ahead. Looks like that's jumped. Not only has that jumped to 90 or 80, but somebody else is in second now. We'll zoom out, see if we can see everybody yet. So yellow here went around the wrong mark and then sailed to the wrong shift. You can see how damaging that was. He's been passed by GP Doug here, 
who went around the left mark looking at the screen, tack right away onto a lift. Pretty big lead, we'll just set here and assess. Wind speed staying about the same. I'm headed. May as well go straight. Wind speed staying the same. We'll jive onto the first ley line to be safe, give us more options later. When we get to this apex, we can decide which end is favored. My guess is the pin end is favored with a little bit of a left shift. With the offshore boat, I'm zoomed all the way out so I still can't see the end of the lines. There you go, as you can see, the left leg of the triangle that is made here indicates the pin is favored. This is a shorter leg here than here, the quickest way of determining that. And there you have it. That was um, a decent start at the correct end, but not so correct that it let me cross. So a little touch and go there. I didn't foul anybody. I got out clean. It's the most important part, no penalties, sail on the correct shifts. So I had the best average speed with the shortest distance sailed. Those two combined will generally equal win, a win. No penalties.